Okay, welcome back. Um, today I will be showing you how to download FS2004 plans into FSX. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go to... Again, flysam.com. Still, because I have Sam's website, it is down. Okay, again, main menu. Just full screen that. Actually, no. Go into search file libraries. Go down into FS2004 jetliners. Okay, type in whatever the hell you want. Just type in. Jazz. Okay, so I'll get a whole bunch of these. Um, so I'll just use one that I've downloaded because it takes too long and I already have the Jazz's fleet. So I'll just use United. Okay, um, oh, okay, I already have this one, so see, this is an FS-04 United Airlines by Project Airbus. Okay, so just hit download. Again, I already have this one, so just hit I accept, start download. Okay, so again, go to your My Documents, FS Downloads, um, so this one should be two, three, right here. Okay, so this is a text here actually. Oh yeah, that one didn't work. I can remember. Okay, so just look around the website, find something that you want. Pretty much all of these are actually 04 planes. Um, I will just use. Uh, let's see here. I have too many. So it's hard to decide. Um. Just use this one, the Jet City 717. Okay, even though that this application is designed, or that this plane is designed for FSO4, the application still works. Okay, well, it's my uh, Internet Explorer, or my uh, Internet Security thing is checking it so once that's done loading run it through select your flight simulator aircraft folder um so once you've selected that uh okay just hit exit because i already have it okay um there's a whole bunch of different things that you have to do to take get that one that doesn't have any XC to work. Just ex for example, this one. Um, okay, CRJ 700 for Horizon Air. Okay, to get one of these to work, um, open up this, hit Control A, hit Extract to extract this to your sound. Don't worry about that. Extract Open up the gauges, extract the gauges to the gauges folder. Open up the aircraft and extract this to the aircraft folder. Okay, so it will be installed, but you won't be able to see it. 
it won't list even though you've extracted it because um, this one's actually from Premier Aircraft Design. Let's open up this. So it should be on the bottom here. Um, it will be in a folder called Aircraft. Op open up the Aircraft folder. Drag the, uh, like the Aircraft folder inside it to your desktop. Back out. Delete that aircraft folder from in here and then drag that folder back in here then you'll be able to see that folder or that aircraft and you load up flight sim x just to prove that it works for the non-believer people out there i will show you um only about five of my planes in here i've actually downloaded are meant for air FSX, the rest work perfectly. Um, I recommend that you um, just use the default panel for these though, because that's one thing that doesn't work. It's the default panels. Or the uh, panels that come with them. So just go in and. Oh, and the sound. Okay, so that Jet City one that we used, Jet City 717, 717, okay, see, 2004, it's provided by Jet City and can be used with an FS 2002 or FS 2004, nothing says you know, um, IFTG, actually. Okay, that doesn't say anything for FSX. Let me quickly find something. Okay, this is from Premier Aircraft Design. FS2004. Nothing for FSX or anything, okay. So yeah, that's how you download FS2004 plans and get them to work in FSX. Okay, thanks for watching, bye bye. And remember to subscribe and comment, rate if you enjoyed it.